Hello and welcome. This is a Sunday afternoon. Today we are talking about, uh, as you can see in the background there, the battle for state house. And we are talking about Uganda. As you know, Uganda since 1962, or let us put it this way, since 1962, Uganda has never had a peaceful general elections. In fact, until now, there, is, there has been always chaos. People die for no reason. And it looks like really, de democratically speaking, Ugandans or people in Uganda haven't had that, uh, how can I put it, the, the luxury of democracy. Democracy is in words. We talk about it. Yeah. Uganda has changed eight presidents since independence. And within that time, the, it, the, the transition between one president to another, it hasn't been smooth. But we are going to discuss the, this issue today. I have got two ladies who are, are passionate about Uganda. And in fact, I met them 30 years ago. And um, I believe, if I'm wrong, they will correct me. But today... It's not 30 years but, Yes, but today my friendship between me and them will be tested because I want to make it clear I support no political party. I'm not affiliated with any politician. But I am really, 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 really passionate about Uganda because the Uganda I know, uh, it has gone down deep to the drains like you cannot believe. So, I don't want to waste so much of your time, but I want to introduce to you my two guests. And the one in the red top is called Emily Katumba. The green top is Harriet es Essence, Essence Kasozi. Now, these two ladies are very, very passionate about Uganda. They love Uganda. They are not politicians. But what we are really going to talk about here, we as Ugandans here in the diaspora, we want actually to find out, to discuss, and find out how can, how can Uganda recover? You see, from 1962 until now, Things have been sliding, as I have said before. And now even to make it more worse or to make it more interesting, if, if you were born 1986 until now, you only know one president. While in America, they have changed about four. Maybe my research is not all that good, but I know. You will work it out, or you can go to Google, how many presidents has America actually been or have, have passed over the presidency from 1986 until now. But in case of Uganda, that is not really, uh, it is not there. And, and you wonder why that things are getting out of hand. Right now, what we are talking about is emotion. We are emotionally charged. We are not really discussing this issue logically because people are tired. You see, there's no infrastructure. There's, there's no hospitals. I mean, there are, no, there are no schools. Now you have to understand if you lack these three basic things, you don't have a country. So, ladies, welcome to the program. Thank you. Yes, so, yes, so yes. Yeah. Good, 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 good. And as I've already said, today my friendship between you and I and I is going to be tested. Either you're going okay. to hate me, say, well, no, why are you not? No, 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 no. So let, let us start here. We are not going to do that. Okay, thank you, um, thank you. Uh, 
Thank you very much. I was now, just looking at the, the, the list of the presidents, as you said, that how many presidents have been there since 1986. Yes, yes. You know so what? So we have uh, Ronald Reagan, George yes. Bush, the father, yes. Clinton, Bill Clinton, uh -huh. George Bush uh, W, the son, Barack Obama, and then Donald Trump. Those are six presidents. Now we are going to have the seventh president. Yeah, Joe Biden. Yes, yes. <laughs> So should Biden? Yes. Now, should we look at our our before we get into the discussion? Should we look at the list of presidents that we have had in Uganda? Because that since, because, since what? Since eighty <laughs> six? No, or no. What? Since nineteen sixty two. So this since is since. Uganda's time. Yes. So now. Here, you can actually see Sir Edward Mutesa was the, the very, Mutesa too, was the very first president. And oh, no. then you have got Obote, then you have got Amin, mm. and mm. Uh, who else? Then when Amin came in, then you have got uh, uh, Yusuf Lule. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And then, then someone benign has come in here. You will and see there was benign. a commission led by Mwanga. Yes, now you have got Benaisa, mm. and then af after that, we have got Tito Okello. Mm. The, uh, and, and then, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Obote came back again before Tito Okello. Oh, six, yes. Yes. And, and, and Okello, seven. Yes. And then mm. we have got Tito Okello. And of course, we have got, uh, we have got uh, Museveni. No, there was Lutua. What happened to him? Uh, no, Lutua. Who is Lutua? There were two, two men before, after, after Obote and before Museven. No, that's Yusuf Lule. No, no, no. Yusuf Lule was way back. Well, Lutua, if... I think Lutua was the president for some few weeks or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the one I, yes, the one I know... Uh, uh, who, yeah. who, last, who lasted only six months was Yusuf Lule. And actually, Yusuf Lule started the NRM with Museveni. Can you oh, imagine that? I didn't know that. Yes. Yusuf Lule is the, founder of, is, is the founder of NRM. In fact, he's the one who came up with that name. But don't, me, quote, don't misquote me, but if you go and... Uh, uh, look, look properly. You find that he he is among the one. He's the he's actually the architect. So now mm. you have. You see, it is very good. You know, I like the internet, and I know you guys. You are thinking very quick. Now you have already established that you have had about seven presidents in America since 1986. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But we have we have only had one president. Now, this is where people are asking or they are saying that the reason why Africa is not moving forward, it is not because we are poor, because of these very, very, very problems that we are talking about. Mm. So we mm. cannot have progress. Now, let us talk about this guy. I know these are the these are the guys that we are. This is the reason why we are here. Uh, let me see. Yes. <laughs> now, the the shining star today in opposition is 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 uh, Chiagulani. In fact, is he Robert Sentamu Chiagulani? Chiagulani Sentamu Robert. Okay. Well, we we know him as Bobby Wine. Mm, so wow. now. Yes. Now, let us start. I, I know you guys, I, I, in your speech, people will, will always see that uh, you are concerned and you want change. Ugandans want change. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the way how I see it, we want actually to, f to find out what kind of change do we want? Because the, when people talk, they are concerned about Museveni leaving. So we want Museveni to go. That's okay. And that's what people think change is. So what do you think that this guy here, Chagulanji, can actually achieve? 
Now, can I take you back to before Chagulani? Yes, please. People have wanted the change for such a long time and have been screaming about change, wanted him, this guy in the yellow, to change yes. things, not to change him. People have been screaming about hospitals, have been screaming about schools, about, you know, the normal things people need. And they were crying, they have been crying for him to, to you know, to build, you know, nice, nice hospitals, you know, nice schools and all of that they were asking him not chagulani before we knew chagulani the people have been screaming for those things okay but then i think time came when you know you could scream no more because if you're asking for something and it's not being done by this person then maybe people think that if we change this person the things will change because we have been crying for him for a long time yeah we wanted him, we wanted him in the first place to change things, make things better for us, make things better for us, okay? So if somebody is not changing what you want, you know, to be changed, then maybe you think, you know, we really have to change him, maybe get somebody else. Maybe we will get what we want. That's what I'm thinking. But the, the change it was there. We needed the change so many years ago. Uh, so many years ago before, before Chagulani came in. That is my point. That's why I, I wanted to take you back before we start Chagulani. Okay, so All now- right. on the same note. Hmm? Yes. On the same note of taking you back, um the man in yellow <laughs> the man in yellow when he came to power when he was uh coming to take over as president we need to think to, to look back to what he said was the problems of of uganda of the reasons why he came to power we've got to find those and then yeah. Look at those things that he, he did so much. Has he changed them? Have they changed? Uh, are they still here? He has changed them. Why is everybody else is coming and saying this and this and this and this? So we need to first uh, find out um, about those things he wanted to change when he came into power. Or that agitated him so much even to go in the bush for. Hello. Exactly. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Uh, the, the only thing is that... Uh, go on. Yeah. Well, how Harriet, I Harriet, I think we are losing a little bit of signal there. So... Yes, yes, yeah. That's true. I okay. don't know what's happening. I haven't moved at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we we know. Yes, we know. Okay. But the, thing, um, the things he said when he came to to power, he said he had had enough of people who stayed for so long. Yeah, in yeah. power, he said he was. I mean, uh, the, the um, lack of democracy. Yeah, you know, tribal touched about that uh what else there are about four things those things are exactly what is happening not just now but these are the things that have been happening for the last 30 years so, so for that speech hearing him saying all those things which were the the, the things that people were feeling uh, you know on their heart and they wanted to change with those things and if they haven't changed this, well, probably they changed a little bit for, for the first five years, maybe because everybody was so uh, mesmerized and happy and, and all that. But after five years or even 10 years, things changed so much. And that's where we've been and it's just getting worse. And no wonder that now people really want this change to happen. That is, that is correct. You know, wanting change is good. Mm. 
is that one we agree uh, nobody will dispute that because you see I when you look at uh, let me bring in this reference here you see when you take a country like Tanzania I'm not actually criticizing it this is just an observation Tanzania they have made it very clever you know since independence in Tanzania it has only been one party that has been in power they only changed mm -hmm. president so if it, if it could happen say so for example uh, you know Museveni, uh, Museveni what he says that uh, he's staying in power because people elect his party so and he's yeah, uh, yeah. And, and on that on that note, he, they will say, every time he's asked that you are a dictator, he says, no, I'm not a dictator. People elect my party. You see, that is where clever he the, gets. And yes. the president of the party. Yeah, yeah but yeah. that doesn't stop him from doing the right thing. Yes. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. So, so for example, if that one party works in Tanzania. Yes. And they are moving ahead. Why can't we use the one party and it move ahead? Work. It could work. That is true. It could work. But, yeah. uh, but, but, but also, okay, well, look, I'm not really defending Museveni or I'm not defending anyone. But Uganda, mm -hmm. when Idi Amin came into power, he destroyed everything. The, mm -hmm. the hospital went. The schools went. The uh, and everything, everything went down. So rebuilding the country, it is really, 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 really difficult, unless, unless, unless you, unless a person is really willing, is is very at, is is attached to that to to his or her country, then it is possible. Because you see, Museveni, what I see is very arrogant. When he comes to address people. He tells you, I'm not your servant. I am. Seriously, Museveni is the servant of the people of Uganda. That is how no, it is. No, 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 no. Because he, 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 he made it so clear that he's not. But that's why I'm saying he's arrogant mm -hmm. in, 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 in the true sense. He is, he is a servant of Uganda. Right. If, if President mm -hmm. of America, like Obama, says that I'm serving you, the people of America, why can't Museveni yeah. say, I am a servant of that that arrogancy it shows you yeah, but that you've touched on something that um you've you've, you've said something a, a minute a moment ago that if you have the country at your heart yes at your heart the country yeah. is not there exactly exactly it hasn't yeah. got it yeah and 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 what i see <laughs> what i see what really uh, pisses me off a lot Uganda, you have got 36 tribes in Uganda. Mm. And also, in those tribes, 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 you have got educated people who are supposed to do jobs um, in every department. But what mm. really annoys me, this one, I can't even, I don't even have to hide, as I've said that. Um, I'm not, what bothers me when you start running a country as your own, as, as you own it. As a corporation. Mm. Yes. When you get, well, look, you know when you get an example like uh, in, in, in Guinea-Bissau, where a guy is the president, the son is the vice president, the wife is the minister of finance, his brother is the minister of defense. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a joke. <laughs> I think that is the system of a dictator because uh, they don't exactly um, what it they is don't trust Uganda. anybody, which is crazy because the country is for all the people, not just no, a but, few. No, but no, the guy was asked, and we have it anyway, on is uh, somewhere. He was asked, and he said he's not working for anybody. He's working for himself, working for his family, and he's working for his grandchildren. So if he puts a wife in the ministry of something and, you know, the brother in the ministry of something, that means he's working for his family. Because he said it, we, we, we know it. Unless people just want, you know, to force him to do what he, you know, is not there to do. But he told us in his own words that he's not working for anybody. That is his family is working for. So if he employs his family to be in all of those other 
sectors, they are trying to put their family thing together. That's the thing. Where have you gone, guys? Yes. Huh? We can't hear you, JJ. JJ, we can't hear you. I'm I'm back. I am back. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. So what yes. I was saying that that is the, the problem uh, of, of taking, like you said, you know, turning the country into a family business. That is the problem. That is Uganda's problem right now. Right. Okay. So, right. Okay. That is, that is true. That is, the, that is Uganda's problem right now. But... Um, mm. That has always been the problem. When Obote was in power, he actually recruited his Langi men and he promoted them to, to big po uh, positions in the army and stuff like this. But do you really think it is possible to achieve uh, equal opportunity in Uganda even if we change presidents? Because what I see is that Everything now is being like normalized. Say, for example, if the guy from Western India, it doesn't matter wherever they could come. Or say, for example, if a Musoga become becomes a president tomorrow, you will see the Basoga saying, "Now we are on top." <laughs> Everybody has because I have I have experienced this. I have gone mm. to a remote area in my area where I grew up, where my family is, and this guy came to ask me that, who are you? And I... <laughs> well, you've been lost for what, 40 yeah, years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You. And you see, that, <laughs> that mentality, just because our man is a president, we are in mm. power. I was really, really... You know what I told him? I said, listen, when I came here, and that is actually going back again after 30 years, mm. but the man wanted to know where I come from, who is my family? I said, my friend, that is not your business. And moreover, you came from Kigezi. We gave you land mm. to settle. And you are mm. asking me, you are asking me who I am. So that mentality, okay. So do you really think, do you really think this kind of thinking might change? Yeah, it can change. It's just that as Ugandans, we all have to be willing to change. We've yes. all seen these things and they're hurting us in one way or the other. Yes. So we we all have to be for one thing, uh, for changing all that um, madness, really. Because, I mean, Obote, as you say, brought his uh, Langi people, his Bakakwas and all that. Yes. But... But then the you difference take, between you take them and the current president is that they were they they felt that Uganda is their country. Right. They felt that Uganda is their country. Even if they had a beef with one tribe, at least they were not like really going on and even trying to take their land away from, from them. No, they didn't take they our land. You know, so as Ugandans, we need to get together and start, you know, ra raising these issues and talk about them freely because there's nothing wrong of uh, feeling pride that you're a Musoga, a Muganda, a Mukakwa. You know, there's nothing wrong with that because Uganda is made up of, is it 13 or 15 uh, tribes that make Uganda, that initially that made Uganda. I don't know what's wrong with this. Uh, um, I can't hear. I don't know if you can yeah, hear me. But... Is, is, is no, 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 I am back now. I'm back. I'm back. No problem. Yes, Uganda. Is that your network that is doing that? Yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. It is me. I muted myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes, Uganda has got 36. I think 36 tribes. Mm. I, I might. We will check it.
because there are other ones which are yeah, actually the ones that made Uganda when they yes. were trying to, yeah. to make Uganda. Yeah, That's you 13, see, I think 13 or 15. Yeah, but then there are other there are other tribes which are not really dominant. You don't hear about them. You know, mm, they like, are there. Yes, like the ones in. Uh, I think maybe they were put in one region. That is true. That is true. But you see, that mm. is during the colonial time. All, all these, all these uh, regions, they were, they were like nations of on, in their own. You see, because so, those, those, those tribes that are uh, that make Uganda are, are, they are all at the parliament as well. Well, that one I don't know about it's the parliament. The parliament. I... They're all there. Okay, then we will have to uh, we, we will have to go into that. Now, but before we yes. we continue, I want mm -hmm. I want to go back to Chiagulanyi because it's very interesting. Now, I want to show you Can I find it? You know my eyes can't see. Yes. Glasses. <laughs> now, <laughs> now. Glasses. No, 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 no. Yeah, the glasses they will make it even worse. You know what I was going to tell you is that Chiagulanyi, he has managed to really, he has mobilized momentum since maybe two mm. or three years ago. This is, this is in London because, you know, when I, when I hear things concerning about Africa, it doesn't matter whether it is Uganda or Sudan, or I go there and film these things. So this one here, it was filmed in 2018, I'm not sure. I think it is 2000, 2018, but the point that I'm trying 18, to make... that's one, yeah. Yeah, the, tri the point that I'm trying to make that this guy has mobilized popularity. So let us have mm. a look at the video. Sorry. Come yes. on. Yeah. Because I, I try I'm trying to, to minimize the noise, you know, when it, it comes back. Okay, now you have yeah. seen the video. And mm -hmm. and as uh, we were saying that Chagulanyi has come a very long way in mobilizing mm -hmm. popularity. So I I would like you to 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 look at this is how I look at it this way. You know, there is a popularity and there is doing things, what you say you are going to do. Yes, Bobby Wine is popular right now. There's no question. But the question would be that how is this young man going to, be, going to accomplish what he's promising? First of all, his task is actually to unseat Museveni. 
but do you think that he has got the the ability to run the country the good thing um, is um there are other people that is supposed to run with him okay uh so we can't just say that it's all going to be left to him you know but um he's, he will have a team of people very uh, skilled experts and people who are very good at what they do they will be helping him he's only leading this whole thing you know and and of course he started he's done some courses in leadership so really we can't sit here and say that he won't he won't be able to lead the country i mean look at what we have at the moment <laughs> the funny thing is nobody goes anywhere to college anywhere to uh, to train to become a president no you know, nobody trains for doing the job soldier, like you know? in africa <laughs> and, no and then uh, no uh, uh, museveni uh, holds museveni holds a degree in political science okay we really don't know about that <laughs> who knows that where is Honestly, it because i mean people have asked that, for this that, that, that is that is yeah 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 yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. that is there. what i'm we saying don't know let, let, let us yeah, continue but JJ, yes but JJ, there's so many people who have a degree in political science you know yes and the other thing is we can't sit here and ask you, you know how is he going to manage this because a good leader a good leader delegates people in every sector who know how to do that job it's not going to be like you know opening the market opening the hospital opening this and that not one person because a good leader has to to oversee everything going on and delegate you do that you do that you do that because that's his job it's not him to go and say yeah i can do that i can do that i can do that me i know chagulani will have a very good team i know i'm passionate about that <laughs> he will have a very good team that you know will will help will help him to build the uganda we want well i'm one of the people who want that new uganda there will be lots of people who will help him to build that new uganda because it's not going to be him to do that by himself even mm. Museveni, when he came he didn't there is no school of presidency have you ever heard of it no 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 there is no school of presidency no, you, know, you learn president. on the job on on this <laughs> on this you learn on the job you have to really know how to how to build a good team and if you don't have a good team that's why things fail if you think you're going to do everything by yourself that's why things fail even for seven if he had a good team because for me i know the people he has are lying to him so many times you know but if they were good people and they were really really for uganda they would be doing the the, the things ugandans want but they don't because they are lying to him because they just want to satisfy themselves you know yes but i'm sure Kagulani will have a good team to rule with him so and how do ugandans you... our duty really is to help him because by helping yeah. helping him we are helping ourselves because yeah, as yeah. you said that is build up this popularity it's been ugandans who have built up this popularity with him with chagulanyi on top or as head but it's the ugandans who have done this um uh, who, are, who are driving this really and if it was yeah, can so, i say one thing uh, about chagulanyi yes, <laughs> mm. can i say what chagulanyi so, has on, done yeah yeah chagulanyi just came and just come, like somebody who comes and points out something which is you know on in your face and you have seen it but you haven't had a chance so you don't want to talk about it all he did was talking about all the things people have been mourning about for all this time and people didn't have the guts to talk about it so when you see the popularity and all that you think chagulanyi is the one who has done that the only thing chagulanyi does and i admire him for that he says something as he sees it 
unlike many of us, we see things and say, oh, you know, but, you know, pe people have to say the things they want to, to, you know, to change, but they haven't been saying them. So Chagulani just comes and says it and it, yeah, exactly. That's what I wanted to say. That's why you can see so many people like following him because he's saying the things we wanted to say long time ago. But, but, but do you know saying things and doing things are, are two different things though? Yeah, even if that you have been asking that all the time, let me answer that a bit. A bit. You mm. start with one thing, yeah? You have to start with one thing because now he, he, ma he made a move. He started and saying, you know what, I'm going to be into parliament. And then, you know, we, everybody laughed at him. Before we knew it, the guy was in parliament. And then he started doing this and this. And he said, you know what, I'm going to go for the big seat. And everybody laughed at him. You know, he's still going for that. And remember, you know, doing things and saying things, yes, I know it's different. But the guy is not given a chance to do anything. He's blocked in everything he wants to do. Even when he's doing now, when he's doing the, the campaigns, he's blocked everywhere. He's, you know, being shot at. How do you, how do you know that he's not going to do? If he was somebody who is not going to do, he would have given up for the things he's going through when he's doing the campaign. He would have given up long time ago. But, he, you know, that one shows you that maybe he's going to do, but he's not going to do it alone. It's going to be me and the others who want this change to happen. And Harriet, what did you want to say about that? Um, <laughs> probably I've forgotten <laughs> it now. <laughs> but it was like that, if, uh, yeah, Mary, Mary has um, uh, touched her about it a little bit that if it wasn't that he had that, that the guts you know to to uh, and and having the people at his heart i mean today i heard him saying that you know when he was in kamudi saying that i have you you know on you know i have you, he was telling the people i have you within my heart and and you can say i mean yes he's coming from a showbiz um, background where you have to put up things and you know try to spice up things but you could feel and hear that he was um saying it from the heart he was being real and the fact that he hasn't um accepted any bribe which has which has been forced down you know, forced down his throat and he said, he said no. Shows you that he is very co uh, uh, committed to take this thing forward and to, to carry on the leadership that he wants very much to change. And as Ugandans, I still maintain that we have to work together with him and everybody who wants to change and for us to see that the, our country um goes back to where it was sometime i don't even know when but <laughs> go back to a glory <laughs> you know so we have to work together and and try and and yeah and work with him i know we are struggling with the with, with the line but but let me play you because I just want to see how is that possible because uh, you know this man here. Yeah. Besige, yeah. Besige fought uh, with, I, I should have brought your pictures here. Uh, I, I would like you to Google, uh, you see that, uh, that, that uh, YouTube link? I, I am not allowed to use mm. the video that that has, has been already posted. Th this link here is from the Oxford Union. It actually tells mm. you, I mean, it, it shows how Besige was fighting for, with Museveni for 20 years in order mm. to change things, but he did not actually succeed. So mm. I want to go back and say, how do you think 
You see? Yes. How do you think that uh, Chagulanyi is, is going to achieve what, where Besige failed? 20 years. Um, the thing is, yeah. everybody's... <laughs> Sorry, go What's ahead, go ahead. Is, yes. Everybody, everybody keeps asking that question and they are saying, you know, yeah, Besige had all those masters, so many people were following him. What do you think is different? And I'm thinking, so what? What should we do? Should we just sit there because Besige didn't win? Didn't win Museven? Somebody else has to do something. If Besige has given up, yeah, and things have not changed, then somebody else has come up. We have to rally behind somebody who is really taking what Besige started. Because Besige started something, well, he fought with the guy and, you know, he was, he, he didn't do it. But that doesn't mean that, you know, Chagulani will not do it. Or if not Chagulani, then somebody else will do it. People have to keep fighting until this happens, you know. Because if we say, oh, yeah, Besige did it and he didn't, he didn't succeed, then why, why is Chagulani, like, you know, even trying? Chagulani has this thing of, you know, uh, um, you have to do, I have to do this. I have to try and do something. Because if you don't do it, nobody will do it for you. And the okay. other thing, Besige, yeah. it's like when you go, <laughs> I don't know, in Panj, what do you call it? Um, uh, essence. <laughs> It was, a, I don't know, it the foundation, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it basically started something, started something, because, you know, uh, uh, Bobby Wine idolized basically really, really much. But if basically, you know, somewhere along the way, he was, um, me, I believe he was compromised. That's what I believe. Yeah? yeah. Uh, according to what, you know, other people say, he was compromised. And then he gave up on the fight he was really passionate about. But the other person has raised up to really take on this guy. For us to stand there and say, let did be that and he failed. Then, you know, we're just going to just put him down. We just have to say, yes, let's go with him and see where this ends. Because we believe and he believes. That's the thing. Well, that is that is good. Okay, okay. I will come back to you. So, uh, uh, Harriet, <laughs> let, let me see, let me th let me hope that your line is good. What do you what do you say about Besige fighting for twenty years and not succeeding? And how will Chagulanyi prevail? Um. Well, the good thing is, um, first of all, for Chagulanyi, age is on his side, <laughs> and. Then the age group is on his side. Um, Bessie did his bit, but the problem, uh, this is, this I heard it from um, a man from a Choto International, uh, Makanga, saying that the problem with, uh, with, with, with what happened with Bessie for all these 20 years, when they went to the polls, he would, he would um, tell people that, yes, you know, we're going to vote and, you know, you go to vote and then just leave everything to me. Leave everything to me. So people just, okay, so they said, okay, we'll leave it to you. The first time he didn't get it. The third time he didn't get it. The fourth time he didn't get, get it. Even though two of, of those four times, two of them, I think, he won. Yeah, this is what the court said later. But that would that would be like you doing the same thing again and again and again, Four same times. Thing, thinking that this time it will be different. So what Chagulani has done is to change that narrative. He has just changed it and said, "Okay, you go and vote. After voting, you guys, you stay there." and keep your vote, guard it. And this is what he's done. I mean, he's been, a, it, it, it's a model that has worked for him, you know, since he came on the scene uh, as MP. That's what they used. And then people stayed and they kept their vote. So they, that is a new model. 
And the whole thing, uh, uh, another thing that I, I see that wasn't happening uh, a lot or much with uh, this CJ, and actually it's not even happening with Museveni at all, um, is getting Ugandans included in this whole process. Because this is um, uh, Chagulani's model. This is about you, you Ugandans. This is about you. It's not about him, and he's been saying it all the time. This is not about me. It's about you. Get there together. But Vesija, what he did wrong was saying, oh, yeah, go and vote, but then leave everything to me. Leave everything to me, and then the next few wow. days, the vote is gone. <laughs> 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 it looks like it looks like we are still struggling with your with your line. Now let me let me who's, who's ask. La, who's line? Because I can hear everything she's saying. He, 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 here it is a little bit choppy. So maybe. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now. She's got a bad line. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I think we have got about twelve minutes to twelve okay. minutes to go. All mm. right. Do, do you, okay, you know, this is another question here. You see, Chiagulanyi, mm. the reason, this is what I believe, and it's going to turn into the question. Mm. He's consistent because his songs, he sang all the problems that mm. are actually in Uganda. Mm. Do you think that he's popular because of he, him being a musician? Because if he, if he wasn't a musician to come and start saying all these things, probably people really wouldn't pay, have paid so much attention. What do you think? Well, you, you know what is funny? Yes. I knew, Bobby, I, knew, I knew him, but I never used to listen to his music. The only time I started like following this young guy saying, you know, he's, he's doing this, this 2018, when, when he got arrested, that's when the United said, what? Why are they arresting this young guy? What has he done? And then I started following him. I didn't know him that much. And there's so many people who didn't know him. Okay, they are young people who used to listen to his music. But then when the music comes out now, because I'm listening to it now, and, you know, he sang them a long time ago. Those are the things we wanted, we have been wanting to say. All, you know, all our Museven regime. That's what we have been wanting to say. So, I think even singing about it helped. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Harriet? I, yes. I mean, we all know that being popular helps in politics. It does, yeah. You either have to be, to have the good language you use, you have to be a good, a certain look. You have to have something that is special or different. So, you know, because he's been popular, uh, and it's very funny because the way he started doing his music, people didn't, didn't really give, give him that much thought. Even the, the artists themselves, uh, themselves, most of them were like putting him down, seeing him as a ghetto boy, and you know, they were calling him actually a local artist. Yes. And then it started changing, probably, it, it started changing or singing about issues about Ugandans. You know, every now and then he would drop in a love song. So, but if you go and uh, check his uh, <clears throat> whatever music, holiday, whatever thingy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't have enough songs. He's singing about issues, social issues. So for me, I think he's been preparing himself for this moment for about 18 years. Now let me let me ask you this. This is this is just a question mm. between me and you now. Why mm. why why are you not afraid? Uh, of not speaking up because I have seen you know when when I when I I, I designed this 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 uh, this program two months ago and I put an advert up there I said well, we are going to talk about Uganda please Ugandans come come let us just discuss all these things but no one wanted to come in front 
But you guys, I just gave you a call two, three, uh, maybe a week ago. And uh, you said yes. So why are you not afraid of, uh, are you not afraid of any repercussions of, or anything? Yeah, but what, what repercussion is, JJ? What repercussions? I mean, if you don't talk, you're doomed. If you talk, <laughs> and even now, me, I'm talking as a person who is passionate about Uganda because Uganda is my country. I love it so much. Yeah. And whatever I'm saying is what everybody is saying. Some people don't have guts to come out, but for me, I'm talking about the Uganda I love so much, which has got my people, which is, you know, which is my, it's my country. So I'm not afraid to talk. I'm not afraid to talk because if I don't talk, who's going to do it? Yes, Harriet. Yeah, and also we have the right to talk. Yeah. We have the right to talk. And, and if you're living in a country that gives you all that, and then you, you're looking back to your own country where people are so ashamed, so, you know, so in fear of saying something, it's really, it's killing you. I mean, it will be dead inside, you know, because you have so much, you need to express yourself. And being an artist, you can't. You have to let this thing out somehow. You're going to put, put it in a song <laughs> or in a dance to try and get it out of your system. <laughs> yeah. but, but, but do you also, do you also think I, that... I, yes, carry on. I said, for me, I, 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 I talk because I think it's the right time. This is, this is what has been happening all these 35 years, actually that people have been suppressed and stopped from talking. They've been really put on, on some tape, big tape on their mouth, not to speak. And, and with that has gone with not voting because the reason why probably even it's been a lot of reading is because not enough votes because people fear to go and do anything about all this. And I'm taking that from my mother he said she said oh uh, you know we're just wasting our time it's going to be rigged again it's going to be so, rigged again but so, then it's quiet okay so let, let me ask you this uh what how hmm. old were you when this man in yellow what became a president ouch <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no 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 when okay. did he become a president Hey, he, he became president in 1986. 86, I was, we were very young. Okay, all right. So, okay, let me put, I know, I know it is always very rude to ask ladies how old they are. No, <laughs> I was 22 years. Okay. I was 22 years. Uh, okay. Yeah. And what were you and doing? my son, yes. my son is almost, is the same age as, as Chagulani. Ah, uh, Okay. Yeah, because uh, be, <laughs> yeah, because if, this man, the, because this man in yellow, when he came into power, Chiagulani was yeah. four years old. I know. Yes, I had a four year, I had a four year old when he came into power. <laughs> ah, okay. But can you imagine? Can you imagine that yes. there are people yeah. who are who are like in their twenties, who are in their thirties, who are totally kept quiet. 35 years later, they are in their 70s or 60 something years. Yeah, exactly. Nobody wants yeah. to say something. The man who was only four years, the yeah. one who is really holding Uganda in his arms like that. How yeah. long is that? Well, uh, I, 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 be I believe he's, uh, he's, I think he's brave. Let us put it, let us give it to him. Yes, I think very he's brave. brave. He's very, yeah, but, very brave. Yeah, but also, very, very brave. yeah, but also, what do you say? Because I have seen some disturbing videos that uh, uh, maybe if we have time, we, yeah, we've got only six minutes to, to round up. I have seen some disturbing videos, as I said, that in Uganda, people do not understand, they, do, they can't debate and also do not understand what democracy is. Now, the videos I'm talking about, I have seen people coming on the video saying, encouraging police to kill others. 
And, and you would imagine, why would people say that? To begin off with, there is this guy, the, uh, the guy in the army with glasses, um, mm. uh, saying a whole lot of things that, oh, well, you, the police has got a right to kill you. But that is, that is another day. We will, we will discuss that. Day. But how <laughs> do you say, for the guys who are supporting Museveni and speak your language? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Is, <laughs> what? The tribes? No, no, no. Well, no. Okay, when you see a guy speaking your language, and yeah. and and he's saying, "We will kill you. We will ki we will kill people's uh, uh, Chagulani's people, just because we don't like them." What what do you think about that? M me, I think people have got the right to 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 support whoever they like, but like uh, um, promoting killing is is really not good. Nobody is, is, is allowed to be killed because you're supporting um, Seveni or because you're supporting Chagulanyi or, or um, what is his name, Amuri <laughs> Nobody, Nobody no. is supposed to be killed because we have a right, you know, however tribe we are, we have a right to support who we want to support. Even the people speaking my language, they can support anybody. They can support anybody they want, but promoting killing people is really not right. For anybody to, to you know to do, it's not right. Okay. That is Harriet. What, that that, that is why yes. That is why people are so angry, because if you get people to come out on national TV like that and state it like that, and they expect you to sit tight on your chair and say, okay, you know, we're not going to say anything. Yeah, yeah, just it's put wrong. your head there and then they... It's just... totally wrong, you know? Uh, because, I mean, we're saying, let just come up and say there isn't any more democracy, and then we, we will know where we are. But okay. you're coming up and saying, oh, yeah, we have democracy, and we know what democracy means. It means yes. we have to have all kinds of rights. Yeah. So okay. now you come out and say, okay, this is not what this is what I don't want about you guys, and then we'll say yes, and this is what we don't want about you, but we we're yeah, not going to kill it. We can agree to disagree, and that is fine. You know, so if, everybody uh, yes. will just yeah. Now we have got three minutes. Things is wrong. Yeah, we have got three minutes now to round up. In fact, two. I am going mm. to give a minute each each one of you to uh, to talk about exactly what do you want what do you want to see and how do you want this change happen. Now elections are coming, Brad. Yeah. Emily. Hi. <laughs> what do one I want minute. to see? Yeah. Well, uh, all I, what I want to see is change, is a new Uganda, you know. And, and I'm thinking, I'm hoping that this new Uganda will be brought about by Chagulanyi, because all the things is, you know, is showing us in the new Uganda are the things I've been yearning for all these years and you know i didn't have the guts to say anything and i didn't have the energy to do anything about it but i'm really really hoping for things to change for our children for our grandchildren to have nice schools to have hospitals to have all the best things you know for people to have water in their in their homes imagine it water you know Everybody's supposed to have water in their in their houses, even if they are living in a hut. But you know, I'm I'm just hoping for that in a new Uganda, and I'm praying for it to happen. And I'm praying that you know these things happen without shedding a lot of blood. I know blood is going to be shed, but I'm, I'm really praying that you know we don't shed a lot of blood. But I'm praying for a new Uganda. That's my. <laughs> And Harriet. Yeah, I'm, I'm also praying for a new Uganda, but I would like to see a good uh, transition, uh, you know, 
I would like to see the yellow thing end this year. God, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would like to, uh, to see that people go back to telling the truth and not to see any killings. I would like to um, to be able to to exercise all you know all kind of human rights and the human dignity. I mean, seeing a police, or is it a policeman or LDU, I don't know who they are now, I'm totally lost. But coming, beating people like, you know, cats, not cats, sorry, like goats or cows, and you know, just like that. There's no human dignity anymore in Uganda. I would like to see that come back. I would like to see people of Uganda happy again. And I would like to see that people can come and talk about things and not fear that at, at the end of all that conversation, someone is going to be waiting for them outside the TV station or radio station to be yeah, taken. Exactly. And I would like yeah. to see that people are not being taken to prison for, for, for some things they haven't even done. You know, justice, truth and justice, I would like to see that in this new Uganda. Yeah. And now it's up over to you, uh, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much, actually, for uh, agreeing to, to come and discuss. But at least our friendship is remained intact. You see? How do you know? <laughs> uh, well, you see, you see, there are no secrets I know. You know, 30 years I've known you. Because you, 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 I, I agree. You are the guys who can tell me on the face and I will take it. You see, the, the, this, is, yeah. this is what I'm talking about. If Ugandans... Hey, hey, <laughs> if, 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 if Uganda, if, or if Uganda yeah. or Ugandans would learn to discuss issues without mm. without uh, abusing people you know really this actually makes me very happy i know yellow is not your favorite color but uh, i haven't had any abuse coming from you no yes and yes but that's what i call civil they you see yeah, but th there are people mentor, why would we be abusing somebody i mean if you have a, a second, just you know, you know what they did? They printed a, a, a picture of uh, of Chagulani, yeah, when he used you know to smoke, and you know, there's a smoke coming out of him, and they printed lots of them and they put him on the wall of the EC, yeah, thinking that they're going to put him down. But you know what that picture has done? Just elevated him, yeah, you know. But... <laughs> Because, you know, you, you say you're going to be abusing somebody. You, you're just, you know, putting them in a higher place. So it's, it, it doesn't make sense. But, but also, people should, re yeah. they should remind themselves the abuser, the person who is printing those uh, posters, yeah. are, are they clean? Who knows? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, we are running out of time here, but thank you very much. And I believe, I think, you know what? What I would like really to see, I would like to see the red and the yellow coming onto this program uh, uh, so that we can actually... Now why not? Why don't you get the yellow? Well, please? because the... the the people are afraid they can't come out, so we must continue. Also, they, they, they can't debate in a civil way. They want to put, to make orders. They want to, you know, they just want to <laughs> okay. grab and grab. Okay. <laughs> now, just try to get the yellow who can be, who can be civil, who can talk like really, really like a human being. Well, okay, thank you. So, <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching Mili Katumba and Essence Kasozi. These ladies, actually, they have made my day. No abuse, no... Uh, even, even when they are so passionate about their country, but they still, they still talk. Maybe, maybe living in Britain is also a help to them, but I don't know. But also, the up, their upbringing... Yes, their upbringing is, is actually spot on. Now... Next time, 
I, we, we are going to talk about this uh, big, in a big way. Now we have started. Please support AIL TV. Come and say what you want to say. Whatever you want to say, we'll, we will air it. And this has been, this has been a discussion about the battle of the White House. We want to know whether uh, the man in yellow will pass over the key to the red. So it's <laughs> yes. And, and and if and if he did, will he do it yeah. willingly? You know, you know, until oh, now no. yes, until now Donald Trump is actually saying they rigged the elections. So is he still saying that? Oh yes, yes. This morning <laughs> well, at least, at least it would be nice to hear the yellow saying they rigged the election. That would be something. Right. Yes. So <laughs> this is this is yes. Now now imagine if Trump is still saying that the election is rigged. This morning was actually saying they won where uh, we won Georgia, but we lost the elections. We we won Pennsylvania, but we won, <laughs> but we why, we lost why the election. Why being like a baby, man? I don't understand. Yes, yes. So come on, Uganda. We are very intelligent people. I am sure mm. we can debate as we these two ladies, it. as these two ladies you have seen. Next time, I want to see yellow versus red so today yeah. it, it has been only red in one corner they can't you know so even even their arguments me i don't, I don't mind sitting with the yellow person or oh, bring the yellow or the blue or the green i don't mind sitting yeah by with the, the way person. you guys you have to help yeah. me here because the only pro, uh, prominent uh, 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 in the race i only hear chagulani and museveni i then another no. name came there's no Matimao. Yes. There's Amriat. Okay. There's a young boy. Mugisha Muntu. Okay. Yeah, there's Mugisha Muntu, a Jeno. Yes. A, there's a Tumukunde. Okay, I'm, I'm going to look into them. Next time. And there's next... a girl, and there's a girl called Kalembe. Fantastic. Yeah. That is. <laughs> Yes, yes. So, guys, until then, we, I will see you Ciao. next time. Thank you. Yes.